Welcome back to Facts You. Today we will be talking about the history of medical treatments, and it's a fascinating and often bizarre one. From ancient remedies made from plants and minerals, to modern procedures using cutting-edge technology, medicine has come a long way. One of the most bizarre treatments in history was bloodletting, which was commonly used in the Middle Ages to treat a variety of illnesses. Physicians believed that by draining blood from a patient's body, they could balance the four humors and restore health. The procedure was often performed using leeches, which were placed on the patient's skin to suck out blood. Another strange treatment from the past was trepanation, which involved drilling holes into a person's skull to release evil spirits or relieve pressure on the brain. This procedure was practiced by ancient civilizations such as the Incas and Egyptians, and even some tribal societies in Africa and Australia. Moving into the 19th century, treatments such as the water cure and electrotherapy were popular, but often ineffective. The water cure, also known as hydrotherapy, involved immersing patients in cold water to treat a wide range of ailments. Electrotherapy, meanwhile, involved administering electric shocks to the patient's body to stimulate healing. Another bizarre treatment from the past is the use of arsenic as a medicine. Arsenic was a popular ingredient in many 19th century medicines, including tonics and elixirs. It was believed to have healing properties and was used to treat a wide range of illnesses, including cancer, syphilis, and diabetes. However, arsenic is highly toxic and prolonged use of these medicines could lead to serious health problems, such as organ damage and even death. In the early 20th century, the field of psychiatry had some peculiar treatments as well. One such treatment was called insulin shock therapy which involved administering large doses of insulin to patients to induce a temporary coma. This was believed to have a calming effect on patients with severe mental illnesses such as schizophrenia. This treatment was later discredited, as it caused severe side effects and was found to be ineffective. Another treatment was the use of lobotomies which was a surgical procedure that involved cutting or damaging the connections between the frontal lobes and the rest of the brain. This procedure was used primarily to treat mental illnesses such as depression and schizophrenia, but it often resulted in severe cognitive and emotional impairments, and is now considered a human rights violation. Lastly, during the early 20th century, the use of radium was also considered a cure-all. Radium was marketed as a miracle cure, and was used in everything from toothpaste to water and even as a treatment for cancer. However, it was later discovered that prolonged exposure to radium could cause serious health problems, including cancer, and it was banned as a medical treatment. Medical treatments have come a long way in the last few centuries. While some past treatments may seem strange or even bizarre, they were accepted and used at the time. It's important to remember that what is considered medicine changes over time, as new discoveries are made, and as our understanding of the human body improves. Thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe.